In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this great mystery of love, let us recall to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess, Almighty God, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. This we ask of you through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Daniel. At that time, Michael will stand up, the great prince who mounts guard over your people. 
There is going to be a time of great distress, and paralleled since nations first came into existence. When that time comes, your own people will be spared, all those whose names are found written in the book. Of those who lie sleeping in the dust of the earth, many will awake, some to everlasting life, some to shame and everlasting disgrace. The learned will shine as brightly as the vault of heaven, and those who have instructed many in virtue as bright as stars for all eternity. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. All the priests stand at their duty every day, offering over and over again the same sacrifices which are quite incapable of taking sins away. Christ, on the other hand, has offered one single sacrifice for sins, and then taken his place forever at the right hand of God, where he is now waiting until his enemies are made into a footstool for him. By virtue of that one single offering, he has achieved the eternal perfection of all whom he is sanctifying. When all sins have been forgiven, there can be no more sin offerings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And stand ready, because you do not know the hour when the Son of Man is coming. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. Chapter 13, verses 24 to 32. Jesus said to his disciples, In those days after the time of distress, the sun will be darkened, the moon will lose its brightness, the stars will come falling from heaven, and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. Then too he will send the angels to gather his chosen from the four winds, from the ends of the world to the ends of, the, of heaven. Take the fig tree as a parable. As soon as its fig twigs grow supple, and as leaves come out, you know that summer is near. So with you, when you see these things happening, know that he is near at the very gates. I tell you solemnly, before this generation has passed away, all these things will have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But as for that day or hour, nobody knows it, neither the angels of heaven nor the Son, no one but the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. It is in the hell. 
the heaven and is this from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen as we await the new heaven and the new earth let us turn in prayer to the lord whose promises are faithful and do not pass away our response lord hear our prayer Amen. that the church might be a light in times of confusion and turmoil pointing people to christ our true hope let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that hatred and violence may be banished from the earth and all nations be gathered together in Christ's peace. <coughs> Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may prepare for Christ's coming by our love and care for the poor, the sick, and the neglected in our societies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those facing depression <coughs> or discouragement may find healing and new hope in God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may be raised to everlasting life and joy when Christ comes in power and glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for our personal intentions in silence. Lord God, you know that your people's lives are subject to hardship and need. Hear our prayers and guide us in the path of life to the fullness of joy in your presence. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty, Father, in the of for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all God's church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lord, your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, 
by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O lord as we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, Jesus himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, and for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with the friends our pope paul our bishop and all the bishops the clergy the religious and the faithful Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Paul, our patron, St. Francis, St. Clare, St. Padre Pio, St. Anthony, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced in our life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let's pray with the confidence of the Father and the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, leave I peace. Peace I leave you, my, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her and to her homes and to her hearts the peace and unity in accordance with your will. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace to you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away sin of the world. He himself is our reward for the life that we live here. Happy are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament, I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you, never permit me to be separated from you, Amen. To be near God is my happiness, to place my hope in God, the Lord. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring you, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity and make our names found in the book of life. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.